so many different things could go wrong, you know? This here is the maiden flight first toss of my 60 inch um, DIY hot cut wing that I'm doing a little tutorial on. It's pretty nervous. You know, it's like you don't have any, you know, anybody to look to as far as what reflex should be in CG. So I'm just hoping I got everything right and that if not, I have enough throws to, uh, you know, deal with that. Um, I have more than one to one thrust, so I know power is not going to be a problem. Right here, that little hand tossing, I'm just kind of full throttling and just making sure that it's pushing into my hand just as a test for the thrust. Um, very easy launch, but immediately I notice that it's wanting to climb a lot. In fact, I, I do a loop just so that I can maybe stop uh, going up and reorient. Now, also because it's going up, it's also kind of wanting to go to the right. I actually end up trimming you know as much as i can nose down and uh, finally i end up just having to cut power because i obviously have too much reflex i uh, un overestimated how much reflex i would need and maybe underestimated how much lift this uh this clark white airfoil would have and also it's pretty light so um trying to trim it out and i finally come to realization realization that I've used up all the trim and I still cannot nose the thing down. So it's time to bring it in. I don't have enough, I don't have enough <clears throat> to nose down. No, it's like I was saying, I don't have enough nose down. Now coming in for a glide, I didn't realize how much it was going to glide and I uh, aborted my landing and then went to the right for some reason and just happened to miss all okay. the tree branches, that was, which uh, I was, that, that was not on both surprised and pretty <laughs> impressed with myself there. But anyways, <laughs> um, you can see on both landings, the first and second toss, it has a, a pretty nice glide. Yeah, you might not have the lens open. So I brought it down, I uh, adjusted the reflex, the elevator down, um, and let's try toss two. And you can see, much better. Um, I just needed to do a couple uh, circles and just kind of trim it out and eventually here we'll get it where it's just hands free and flying really nice. And again, I'm just kind of trimming it out, uh, letting my ha hands off, just kind of seeing what it does, um, adjusting it slightly. Now again, this does have almost 1,000 kilograms thrust more than it weighs, so it will get up and go on 4S, that is for sure. But one thing I noticed is that um, this Clark White airfoil Man, is pretty is thick. Gone it will slow oh down pretty much immediately. Definitely needs a lot of power to get it going. But it also, because of that, can uh, go very slow. I think I calculated the stall speed out at about 15 miles an hour. So definitely a nice slow flyer. Now it was really, really cold, about 40 degrees out in the sun and the glue on Velcro was just not sticking well, so I didn't feel confident putting one of my cameras on it. So next time out, that's what we'll do. Anyways, uh, pretty there. great flyer. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I'll be getting part two of my hot wire cutting video out next, and that'll be on the uh, parts and equipment needed. So thanks for watching. Bye.
all powered off. <laughs> that was awesome. Dude, that thing was... <laughs> that, that had power, that man. Thing, uh, that thing moved. That was awesome. Woohoo!